Hey guys, it's meteorologist just Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather, and this is going to be a tough five to seven day stretch. Big western high pressure is going to build in. Um, if there's a place to watch for most consistent snow, we're not talking big snow by any stretch of the imagination. It's probably going to be the northeast, so that's where we're going to start. This is up at Sunday River up there in Maine. You can see it's a beautiful morning. A lot of sunshine, cold morning for a lot of these resorts up in the northeast, zero or colder. Um, but I'd watch Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine and parts of Massachusetts over the next five to seven days. I've got, let me think here, two or three different storm systems lined up over the next five to seven days. Um, one that comes up the coast and then probably two clippers, some lake effect mixed in. I'd probably look in the northeast. And the issue, and let me just show you the storm track here. First of all, so the jet is, I'm going to start you on the Pacific, the jet's doing this. It's taking all the action, moving it way up into B.C., and then it's kind of running down. The jet's kind of running down through Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico, and then it's running up into the northeast. And that'll set the storm track for a lot of those clippers. Um, but you can see the energy. I'm going to mark it in green right here, or this moisture that's all going to get kind of routed up into this area. And there's a piece, I think, that will break off between Friday and Saturday and run down the eastern periphery of this high in effect, Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, and New Mexico, right on this eastern periphery, the kind of thing we've seen now for the last five weeks straight. And then there are some clippers that will impact the northeast. Um, but let me just point out this large dome of high pressure that's basically, it's a big boy, and it's sitting right here. And this thing is really going to dominate the west. Um, and it's going to keep California, Nevada, and Utah totally dry for about the next five to seven days. And to be quite honest, it's a force to be reckoned with for probably the next eight, nine, ten days. Um, there are some signs of uh, this high breaking down, uh, potentially 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 of this month, but obviously that's going to be a long wait at this point. Let me show you where we stand. Here's a snowpack update. This is a snow water equivalent. So the water contained within the snowpack and the numbers have been falling because of how dry it's been. Uh, the storm track has basically been, been favoring Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico, and, and it's, it hasn't been major, that's for sure. These have been fast moving small fronts. And so all the numbers have been diminishing. Look at Tahoe, once it was like 130, 130% of, of normal, like late December, early January, not the case now way down. Uh, look at Utah suffering, the Wasatch suffering, uh, the Tetons under 100%. Um, I mean, some of these numbers are obviously still respectable, but they've fallen. The trend is for them to fall, even in Colorado. I mean, we were once pushing 150% in some of the basins in Colorado. Now, that is definitely not the case. So we need some, we need a pattern change is what we need across the West, because with this big high pressure, um, that's going to be a dominant force. Let me just show you what the GFS thinks, and let me just uh, take you into Monday morning. So this is Monday morning. This is the 7th of February, and look at the west. It's just totally dry across the lower 48 with a big 1042 high in place. That's a strong high. There is action in the Pacific Northwest, B.C., and up into western Alberta, but we're talking about high snow levels. And these are not big storm systems and it's because the storm track's so far to the north. It's really only brushing those areas. Look to the northeast now. Uh, let me take you into Tuesday morning. Look at the low coming up the coast. It's a small low, and it's way too far offshore to have a big impact on Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine. There will be some snow in New Hampshire and Maine and Massachusetts, but we're not talking about a lot. And then that moves away. And, there's, and then the pattern resets with a couple of clippers that will come into the northeast. So this is Wednesday morning, the 9th. And here comes that clipper, in fact, into the uh, the northeast. There's Wednesday night. There's Thursday morning. Here's Friday morning. Okay, so right here is where my, uh, my principal forecast diverges from what you're seeing on the GFS. See that low coming down from Canada into, the, uh, into basically Minnesota, Wisconsin? Um, I think it's going to drag a cold front down through Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico, and drop one to three inches of snow. Uh, this is not picking up on it, but I think there's definitely going to be a front right there. Um, Okay, so here's Saturday morning, and then that front would be working its way down through Colorado, New Mexico. Look at the uh, that low ends up as a clipper, and the northeast. Uh, so again, I think the northeast is going to be the most consistent spot for cold and snow. And we're not talking about a lot of snow again, very light amounts, but that's really the only game in town. All right, so here's Sunday morning, the 13th. Uh, here's the 14th. So there's a little something there. 
a little something, but watch California into the 15th. So here's the 15th, the morning of the 15th, and there's actually something taking shape. This will be the first sign of anything in California if this holds together in a long time. Um, here's the 16th, the morning of the 16th. So there's a low trying to pierce that big high. This would be something to watch. And then into the uh, the 17th right here. So there, there may be a pattern change down the road, but we're going to have to wait a long time to see it. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Here are my numbers. And we're talking bone dry. I mean, there is just nothing for California, Nevada, Utah through the 15th. This is all of today through the 15th. One to three inches, potentially, if that Arctic front or if that front period comes together through Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico, and barely anything for the Pacific Northwest. High snow levels, storm tracks way too far to the north, B, BC and Banff, but at least there's something there. Here are my numbers for the northeast, and again, even despite having potentially three different storm systems, they're all minor and fast moving, the numbers are not that big. One to seven inches for most is the spread. Um, and you can see most of that's up in Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. And most of it's in New Hampshire and Maine. Um, but again, that takes us all the way through the 15th at this point. So there you go. Um, hopefully you can find something. Focus on a couple of these places, uh, especially in the Northeast. Take care. Always appreciate you tuning in here. Have a good day.